<laughs> Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Right. Alright. This is it. <clears throat> this is it. December 12th. Wow. December 3rd, 2015. December. <laughs> gonna sell the number. <laughs> I All right. Anyway. Uh, December twelfth. Fuck. Uh, December third, twenty fifteen, twelve twenty two p.m. Here we are on the day of the the, the video game awards hosted by Jeff Keeley, <laughs> the and, best interviewer on the planet, and also the weekend <laughs> of the PlayStation Experience in Tokyo. San Francisco, so, yeah, San Francisco. I have, a country. I have a question. What happened? Is there anybody better in the world than Jeff Keeley? Let me uh, ask you this question. I'd rather them get Joe Rogan drunk slash crossfaded <laughs> to host the Video Game Awards than Jeff. I mean, uh, <laughs> fucking horrible. Uh, okay. Oh, so, the PlayStation experience, I think this is the second or third one in a row. And it's just Sony like, hey, come one, come all to San Francisco. Bring your beer. Don't fall. Watch out for the bums. Watch out for hot bonds. And, uh, <laughs> and they're going to probably reveal a good amount of stuff. Probably stuff they were not going to show at E3 or Gamescom or PAX East. Oh. Jesus Christ. This is stuff they're just waiting until the very end of the year just to show. Yep. Well, I have to sneeze. I, I wonder if the... Because <laughs> they probably have, depending on how long it took them to develop the characters, yeah, it's probably been going on since the start of this year. That's nuts. It's so long. That's unbelievable. I mean, and they and no, and, and I think that might, what, the thing that makes it more unbelievable is that nothing was ever leaked ever for goddamn nearly a whole year. I, th- I think also for leaks, we have to give it up to Beth Bethesda, Beth Bethesda for uh, you know not that much leaked really Bethesda. for Fallout Four until like they actually wanted to announce it mm-hmm. when they kind of you know. On day zero. Kind of swooped in on day zero. This is a bullshit. Made of a, made of a day. <laughs> made of a fucking day. For, uh, <laughs> fucking, it's oh, fucking Family man. Guy, like Cattill's Day. Where they just they yeah. say, like, one of the news channels, they're like, oh yeah, they made up a day so they could have an extra day to report the news. <laughs> oh. Oh, like Black History Month. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that would be the. Fa- it's a, I'm, not, I'm not saying it. It's the Family Guy joke. So, uh. Uh, <laughs> okay. So basically, they're saying um, they're predicting the future for PlayStation and what's going to happen. But we can't talk about that yet because we're going to talk about the Keelys. And uh, we're going to each have predictions for what's going to win for each category. The important category is not the fucking esports player that you give here. <laughs> I mean, Jen Soon. I'm not even being racist. I don't think I am. Jen Soon. <laughs> <laughs> My God. like the fucking UCLA YouTube girl. <laughs> oh, horrible! No, that is the Look, worst. Sports player of the year. Who do you think is going to win, Colin? Kenny, Kenny Scrub. That's what I want to actually know. Lee Faker saying Hyuk. Olaf, Olaf, Meister, Kajbaja. <laughs> Olaf. Peter PPD Dagger. He's My probably God. American. C- Syed Sumal Sumal Hassan. Wow. From Evil Geniuses. The two of them. F- oh, who cares? Okay. Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. I want like you don't have to go. I literally, I just I couldn't care less about literally any one of those players. I know who Kenny is, so I Kenny wins because right. he's the only one I actually know. And uh, you know. heard that first. Bad input sponsors <laughs> Kenny Shrub. Kenny. Scrub. Kenny S. Kenny Shrub. He had he had to be some type. Probably of the best offer in Counter Strike. To be honest, though, that's I I do know of, of him and his accolades. He did this one, there was this one thing, I don't know, I don't remember what the map is. I'm not, I've played Counter-Strike a decent amount, but not enough to actually, like, remember the maps. So there's this one where it's, you know, it's a map, and there's boxes, and he was four on one, and he basically hid behind this box, and people were coming at him, and he offed every one of them. Just went, <laughs> and then some guy tried to jump on the box, like, right above him, and he just, like, turned around and just, like, headshot at him. It was pretty ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I won the whole round for him. It was actually ridiculous. Yeah, and especially in that, and, like, those pro tournaments, you know, like, everybody's, yeah. like, pretty much at the same but, level. Uh, it should have been over. Yeah. You know, <laughs> one on four, and then he just dominated. It was nuts. So he is, yeah, I mean, all right, anyway. Let's get on to the important categories. Oh, shit. Fucking. Da, 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 da. So... The future! Yeah! Yeah! Alright. Game of the year. 
Um, from so, I said this. I think we talked about this a little bit earlier on. Fucking disappeared. Um. Oh well, what that? Okay. Oh, oh. Technical difficulties, everybody. JeffKeely.com right. work. JeffKeely.com. <laughs> I just, I was mad that just like the whole banner was just like, uh, was just hi, like a I'm, his hi face. I'm Jeff Keeley. Here, <laughs> okay. Kind of looks like, kind of like Dennis. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Just not excited about anything ever. Yeah. All right, so you got Bloodborne, <laughs> Fallout Four, Metal Gear Solid Five, Super Mario Maker, huh? and The Witcher Three. Uh, well, so I think Fallout Four is going to win, mm. just because. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what tells me it's going to win. I mean, Metal Gear was great, personally. Uh, I loved it, but uh, Metal, it was a little slow. Metal Gear. There, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of what we've talked about before, and what we like to call Aaron Hansen Ocarina of Time syndrome. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff where it's it was difficult, yeah. definitely. But there's so much driving and there's so much travel that it gives you the concept of it being so long that it makes it seem harder. Yeah. But it's okay. just more tedious. Yeah. It's so, just distance between your objectives is longer. Yes. Especially in Afghanistan. It's, it's much easier to travel when you're in Africa because it's like, it's like flat, it's just flat lands. Uh-huh. So, so when less mountains. When you're traveling through there, did the rains bless you? Did, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they actually, they, you know what? They actually do. They actually, they actually, go because there's torches and there's like barrel torches and stuff like that, or barrel fires. So when the rain comes, it actually, yep, so it darkens the whole area. So, yeah, it is. God. <laughs> um, Mario Maker could suck my dick. Uh, and The Witcher 3 is, I guess, the dark horse. But me personally, mm-hmm. I think my, my dark horse is Bloodborne. I, I think Bloodborne could win it. It has, I mean, we have yeah, played this game so you're more saying, than any other. God. You, I mean, you know this from experience. This is going to be disturbing. We're going to keep a record from over the years for, for these awards. It's got to be... It's Here we go. <laughs> this is true. We're going to look back at this in 2025. And it's going to be like... Oh, what? <laughs> Super Mario Maker? <laughs> what is this uh, bullshit? Alright. Hey, hey, Moto... No! No, those little shits made troll levels! <laughs> Fuckers! 2015 Keeley Awards <laughs> nomination. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He was such like a sarcastic disdain for Jeff Keeley. It's fucking, it's fucking great. There's <laughs> so much hate. For him. <laughs> so you said, uh, oh my lord. Four. Fallout Boy 4. It, I rec- the tone of voice, where it, it sounds like when, when people talk about Peyton Manning to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's just a solid quarterback still. Fuck uh, like, fuck I'm going to have to say uh, the blood. The blood of Bourne. The blood going to win for sure. Yeah. That's I nice. mean, it's got, it's got almost 300 hours of my life so far, so fuck. That's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot of hours. Uh, Dark Horse, we can do like this. Predictions, two points. Your Dark Horse, one point. Sure. All right. I'm down. And Dark Horse, Dark Horse uh, we'll go with our fun housemates of Witcher 3. We'll go with the Witcher 3? Mm-hmm. Mm, I, I, I still think... I I think Fallout's going to be four. I, I don't know why for this for me. Fallout's first, I think the Witcher second, and then Bloodborne's my Dark Horse. So Fallout 4? And Bloodborne's your Dark Horse? I think Bloodborne's my Dark Horse. Because I don't know, I, I just, I don't know. This is the first time that a Miyazaki game has been up for this, right? Did Dark Souls, was Dark Souls up for Game of the Year and all that stuff? Uh, I think so. Did it win? I don't think so. Mm. I don't know, man. It could. I think it could. Because it was way underground. I, I'm, I'm so torn. It was. That's what I was thinking. That's why I was like, I wasn't sure. It was, it was melee underground. That's why Bloodborne, I think, definitely has a chance to win because Bloodborne, Bloodborne's popularity just like it, it soared, and it was surprising yeah. how quickly it soared. Yeah, it Sony this time, they, so, I love you, Shu, but Sony this time didn't fuck up on getting the <laughs> fucking license, and Namco fucking had to sweep it up and shit. So now this is <laughs> Sony's apology to everyone. Okay, sorry, sorry. We'll take, we'll get this brand an IP. We're gonna seal it. <laughs> 
And thank God they did. So good shit. You f- fucks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This shit could be on. Bravo. The, this shit could be on the Xbox One, like Dark Souls Three. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls. Oh yeah, Dark Souls Three is gonna come. So I, I was actually yeah. I, I, so we stream. I was talking to somebody the other day, and they, and, and they said that Bloodborne basically uh, it being an exclusive is a thank you because yeah, because you said Sony actually like stuck its neck out to get the license. Suck its neck out. <laughs> Suck its neck out. Just be jerking off in Miyazaki's favor that they allowed him to fucking take the license back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This franchise could have been gigantic in the West if it just picked up. If it picked up from when it first came out like in 2011 mm-hmm. and it's where it was and it's where you Miyazaki think Dark Souls would have, would have soared much higher? Interesting. So the Xbox audience room. So that's okay. Let's we gotta write that down for a different podcast. And, and PC also. That sounds. I, I'm interested to hear about that because I would. I would know, maybe maybe we'll do those like side segment because that sounds. Dang Souls, Sony's <laughs> biggest almost fuck up. behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Now Xbox ruined everything. You, oh, Click my, bait of the year. You know Microsoft would have loved to swoop in on that. <laughs> Probably. Um, they, they lost the Black Ops thing, too, so let's... Alright. Best independent game. Anyway. <laughs> Drops. Um, Undertale! No, we'll, yeah, Undertale. Undertale! Yeah, that's... Uh... Undertale! <laughs> so Paul's got like, Undertale. I'm called Undertale. <laughs> uh, uh, then Rocket League next, maybe. But but I, I don't know. But I, I did not play Ori in the Blind Forest, so I literally have no <laughs> idea. Maybe I need to give that a shot before. Who, wait, wait. Maybe you download it. What is it? One of those games that's like what four hours? Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a short game. Oh, so okay. oh, we could Any. We bust that out before the video game awards. Maybe, but then you don't want to do that. Yeah, I usually want to take my time or something. It's obviously like an art piece. Damn it. Anyway, well, I'm just gonna. Have to, I guess I'll just find out. But for me personally, I'm thinking Undertale and then Rocket League is gonna be my my second. And then is what else your, is next? Is it your dank horse? My what? My dank horse? Yeah. What's your dank horse? My dank horse. Dank horse. So our number one pick will be plus two. Ori. Yeah, our dank horse is be plus one. All right. So you can know. interchange Rocket League and Ori. By the way, I'm stuck between Undertale and Hori. 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 Have you played Ori? Uh, no, but from watch, I watched a shit ton of it on Andy's channel. Oh, really? And it's awesome. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, I'm going to say Undertale. All right. And then I'll pick Rocket League for my dang course. Oh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> that, that would, uh, it makes it Rocket League just, that one also just came out of nowhere. There's a lot of games, there, oh. there's a lot of games this year where it's like, if you make, they, they made, uh, they made an appearance and you're like, that might do well, mm-hmm. eventually. But then it just went bam. Like, Rocket League blew up immediately, immediately with the free access. And then the same thing with Bloodborne. Just somehow... I hate, I hate to say it, but... Colin Moriarty. What that package? Uh, yeah, he called it. He called Rocket League? About two years ago. Unbelievable. Yeah, either two or a year and a half ago. Yeah. Disturbing. Un- disturbing, right? That man, disturbing. that man just knows it's how the market works. Sick. It's it's, it's fucking weird. It's gross. It's that he's a goddamn it's prodigy. Uh. Axiom Verge, no. <laughs> All right, what's what's a, a gooder? A gooder? What's another? A, go- a gooder? What's uh, another great best shooter? No, uh, that's not best family I know. <laughs> no, uh, best art direction. All right. Bloodborne. Uh, we got Arkham Knight. Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Fave. Ori and the Blind Forest. And the Witcher 3. Uh, I'm going to say Bloodborne's first, Ori's second, Dark Horse's Metal Gear. That's mine. Because Ori apparently is all over the place, I'm imagining. And like just looking from just that thumbnail alone, mm. I can tell that that's a, a beautiful game. So, Bloodborne's yeah. art direction, though, is, is they were was, we were listening to on... on uh, Beyond! <laughs> Beyond, bro. Um, they uh, Bloodborne's art direction is amazing. Yeah, the, the gothic scenes, the uh, the the Cthulhu, the Cthulhu basically parts everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the uh, terrifying statues that you think were going to come to life. Uh, 
God, did, and just and the openness did. of it all. And they never did. That's so they fucked. Ne- they never did. No man in chess either. Yeah. The fact, uh, <laughs> that's so fucked. I, I, he scarred a generation of players into thinking that the chess and Bloodborne were going to come up and eat you as some kind of boogeyman. Oh, yeah. So you got Ori for first? No, I got Bloodborne yeah, first. BB first. I got Bloodborne first, Ori second, and then my Dark Horse is Metal Gear. Because Metal Gear was also beautiful. So MG5, the dankest of horses. The, da- the dankest uh, of all dank horses. I'm going to pick BB and Dark Horse is going to be with you. Uh, um, that graphics thing, I feel like a graphics thing is going to hurt it. That's why I didn't, that's the only reason I didn't want, that. why I didn't pick it. I don't know. Witcher. The Witcher. The Witcher. <laughs> if you could play the Witcher, Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> there are three Witchers out. So which Witcher would you play to get in tune with your Witcher? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Witcher. <laughs> All right. And then uh, uh, we probably should say Game of the Year last. No, I think this is probably the most important one. Then we start with Game of the Year? Developer of the Year, to me. That's a big one. That's like, mm. hey, you're the Africa Boombata, the Zulu Nation of video <laughs> games. And <it's> fucking... <laughs> Boombata, Zulu Nation. All right, here we go. We got Bethesda. We got CD Project Red. We got FromSoft. Ow! We got Kojima Productions. Watch out tonight. I'll say that for later. Uh, and then we got Nintendo. You go first. All right, so... Uh, my developer of the year... Is from soft because the uh, ball gag is ball sucking, and <laughs> the dark horse is going to be. Man, that yeah, it's going to be. It's yeah. It's going to be Nintendo. I don't you know. Think it's going to be Nintendo. Yeah, my dark horse is going to be Nintendo. I'm, I'm not sure, man. I would say. Nintendo's definitely got to be in there. Just, just Mario Maker was so. It was revolutionary in in some of the best and worst ways, mm. and that's why that might win. And Smash Brothers, and Iwata, Iwata. I feel like yeah, I feel like that. Oh, that, that I, not, I, I feel like that passing consideration of that. Yeah. Oi. And Kojima because he's like the fallen hero of the gaming industry, so like. There's, there's a lot going for them. Yeah, there's a lot. A makes lot me stuff. want to change my vote. But Miyazaki's but, a mad scientist. That oh yeah, somehow made his way into people's hearts. Yeah, he came back from not doing Dang Souls two, to to being all up on Bloodborne's mm-hmm. shit. And Sony being like, please make another one. And it's probably definitely another you, one. You think it's gonna be Bloodborne two? It's probably working on it right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that don't just, quote me. That don't just made don't me... quote me. But I've heard. I've I've seen stuff. Oh, that made me a happy man. Yeah, there's reasons for them to be working on another one. I just why would not, man? That game sold like crazy. Mm. Why would you not? And if you can, if you can somehow increase on the war and not make it, you know, a little boring or a little uh, repetitive, right. anything like that, they're fine. Okay. And they, they, if they do, especially the DLC, the DLC, I, I loved the the uh, NPCs and the. Uh, voice acting. Oh yeah, they they put so much time and effort into making sure that that was known. Like you, you were basically going through <laughs> this whole DLC, really more cautious yeah. and more looking around. And especially since that guy who's following your well, I mean spoilers, that guy who follows you around for pretty much the entire DLC, mm-hmm. that guy just adds to it, and he just he's basically saying. Yeah, sure, go. Yeah. yeah, keep going. But he's also at the same time saying you're kind of stupid. Uh, he's like, but... don't, don't look up. Yeah, don't, don't go searching for skeletons if you don't need to. Yeah, <laughs> but see, but see, I was kind of well, later. We'll I'll talk about it later. I was, I think I was pretty close to my prediction. He, he seemed to. Um. Later, yeah, whatever. We'll, talk about later. <laughs> we'll see. I don't, I don't want to spoil. That's that. why their studio's so good. Yeah, it's Lord. very. They're very good with the lore. Anyway, but uh, but, but from then software again. could win. But I think I think my my first back to the developer of the year. Mm. I think it's got to be Kojima first for me. I, I I I think just 
based on the budget they put into that game and the fact that there's a lot of cinematics that were pretty cool. Uh, pretty much how open the entire world was. Mm. And a lot, a, I, I, it, it was the best Ooh. espionage experience I've ever had in my entire life. And I've, I've, I haven't played a shit ton of espionage games like enough where I would say I'm, a, I'm an expert in it by any means, but I, I've played enough where I know when one's bad, like Thief. Mm. Thief was awful. Uh, and one is good, like this one. And this is, this was great. This was just unbelievable. And so much time and effort was definitely put into it. Like, like just a lot. And the story was a little bizarre. But other than that, it just... Fucking story. The story was weird. But, but, but with that aside, everything was, was great. We got spoilers. And then I think, I think my Dark Horse is going to be, uh... From software, from soft, yeah. Dan Course. The Nintendo made an impact this year, but they made an impact yeah. more with just Mario Maker than anything. Smash Brothers got obviously great everything, yeah. but that but that's been a year coming, so that's mm. that's been good. So I mean, the, the biggest thing they pretty much did was announce some games, and then they had Mario Maker. So I don't really see <laughs> I, yeah. just just their 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 resume this year is is shorter compared to what I feel like. They've been the other ones have done. I feel like they've been wasting, not wasting, uh, spending a lot of time just trying to prep for their next console. So like mm-hmm. they weren't doing too much. Exactly. Yeah. But I think I just unraveled. But someone's going to win some prizes. Oh really? Apparently. Uh, let's see here. The PlayStation Awards. Gold prize will go to platinum prize. I guess it's user's choice. The Platinum Prize is awarded games that shipped over 1 million units, while the Gold Prize is awarded 500,000 units, like, kind of like uh, CD sales and shit like that. So wow. Platinum Prize, Dragon Quest Heroes, of course, because Japan. My God. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, Phantom Pain, hey, hey. Minecraft, fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Blood, Bloodborne, Gold Prize, hey, hey, we were part of that. Woo-hoo! Uh, isn't that? It's nice. Like, you're showing attention with your wallet. Yeah. And it pays off. It really does. Shit. I'm, a, I'm a reindeer man now. Um, <laughs> on the radio! GTA 5. I'm guessing the fucking re release for the new consoles. Mm-hmm. God Eater 2 because Japan. One Piece because Japan. <laughs> uh, Yakuza 0 because Japan. <laughs> User's Choice Bloodborne. Uh, wow. Dragon Quest Heroes, GTA 5, and Metal Gear 5. Solid. Witcher. The Witcher 3. Then you just try Asia. Okay. The Witcher did <laughs> show up in a lot of stuff. I, you know, that, that could. That could win. Okay, question: Could The Witcher sweep the awards it's in mm-hmm. this year? Do you, do you think no. it's possible? I don't think so. You think they're, they're going to lose at least one of them? They're probably not going to win Developer of the Year. I think they're going to win maybe one or two. I don't know if they're going to win. I don't know. You don't think it win best? It, it you don't think, well, well, let's say it wins Game of the Year. Does it have? Do Game of the Do those things usually have like an Oscar effect where it's like? The game of the year usually is the one that wins the, or like picture of the year is usually the one that wins the best, uh, best script writing or best, uh, what was, what is the, I can't goddamn remember, my brain is off. Anyway, uh, or like best actor, mm-hmm. usually best, best picture wins best actor or best actress or best supporting actor. Well, that's the thing also, ah, I'm gonna show it to my spit. Uh, because the game came out so long ago as well, uh-huh. and then I'm sure the voice acting, I'm sure it's, it's awesome. And then the cast, I'm not so sure if people are familiar with them. And then just the tie. Remember that empty kind of summer drought? Mm-hmm. So people either playing that or older games. And then the September, and October, and November. <laughs> so Witcher 3 is probably really good. But then people are just forgetting how good it was because of other games. And so like that's why it's, that's it's, a, it's just like kind of a dank horse right now. Yeah, It's a really nice looking dank horse <laughs> that probably had really good sales. Mm-hmm. But then, Japan, if these, these awards that we just read out, they're based on sales. And it looks like, if it's in order for how they are coming in, maybe like the most, the least. You know, which is showing up, but it's like at the bottom. Like right above Yakuza 0. And that game, I don't think that game's even in fucking America. And so, <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's, there's attention it's, being paid to it, but not that much. Yeah, it's there, but it's not prevalent. We, we still got Final Fantasy X. 10-2 you know selling a little bit more well that's well I mean Final Fantasy is the most historic franchise the shitty, and, shittiest remaster in the world but and, that's and, for a different podcast wasn't the Witcher series before strictly on PC 
Yeah. So that's that kind of hurts with pretty much its audience. I and feel the, like. But then they uh, they also said that he didn't you didn't have to play the first two, but yeah, there was like uh, what the like, like that guy from uh, Screw Attack. He was like, uh, I'm not that type of gamer. I got to play the first two. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have to play. I know. I don't have to play the first two, but I'm still going to. <laughs> <laughs> so he tried that, and oof, yeah. I think uh, Greg Miller's girlfriend tried it also. And she was like, "It's rough." They got. They, I think they got burned out before they could finish the third one. I was like, yeah, those are long-ass games you're trying to marathon through before you play the most recent installment. Which is probably even bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's... Maybe you should just play the third one in that situation, but... Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what shy people away also, just that three. So, like, I'm not too sure if I can get into it. Yeah. It was hard... For me, personally, it seemed like there were there were definitely some parts that happened in, in, the, in the Witcher 3 where I was like... It was pretty detailed with the story. It's, it's a black screen. Oh, Fucking battery save much. Well, it says he's very likely. Baby, come back. <laughs> baby, no, on me. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. Oh, that would be great. That would be that would be great, especially for for our rookies who are going in their second years. Okay, anyway, back on top. We'll talk about that later. Um, there are seeing there are a couple parts in The Witcher Three, like. Uh, I think there was a part where where Geralt gets confronted by the the local authorities. Yeah. And they start kind of like listing some of his crimes and whatever and then they and then uh, the girl he's looking for comes up to him and then she's like starts explaining all this stuff of why she left and I don't know literally one damn word she was saying. Mm -hmm. And so just right away that kind of like took me out of the whole cutscene and I found myself because I was streaming at the time and I found myself kind of like, like what the hell? Tuned, well, yeah, I kind of tuned it out because I and I, I didn't well a I mean I was trying to get into the game but but just I mean when you're automatically doing a cutscene that I have no idea like why this is happening who I know who she is but it's because I saw one cutscene at the start of the game mm. where she was butt naked and I'm just like damn she looks good uh-huh. that's the only reason I know that's it that's all I know and then other than that she's like explaining this whole background story and I'm like. I don't know any of these people, and the way she's talking about it is like I should know. Mm-hmm. And that's how it came off to me. I don't know, that's personally. Mm-hmm. So I, I can't speak for everybody, but it just was, it was kind of off putting. Yeah, you're and like waving in and out of it? A little bit. Yeah. Like when I was playing, when I was playing the open world stuff, I was really into it. But once I got to some of the cutscenes, I found myself really kind of tuning it out or clicking through or whatever. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. But that again, that's just me, and I have ADD, and I have a short attention span, so I get bored very easily. And once I get bored, I go nope. It so might, that's that's also my problem that I have. It might be the same reason why a lot of people didn't finish it, because I've heard a lot of people start it. I never heard a lot of people finish it. I've heard nothing about the ending of that game. Really? Not really. Maybe he finds his trick. I don't know. So I mean, well, he finds it pretty early wife, on, and then girlfriend, I don't know. Justine. I don't. I don't know. Geralda? You can bang a bunch of girls Geralda? in that game, so I have no idea. What's your, just uh, Agatha? Whatever. Just, uh, right. Agatha. <laughs> so, Gruntilda. We're gonna leave off on this. Two things. Uh huh. One, Nintendo files a patent application for cloud gaming devices. Ooh. And two. Well, that makes sense. Tonight we're gonna have that makes uh, sense. not one, not two, not three, not four, but ten world premieres and ten on stage. Fuck you, Jeff Keighley. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the Keighley Awards, yeah. Oh, baby. I'm Jeff Keighley. Four hours until the nightmares. Available on uh, the devices. If you, if you guys want to catch the, the, the Keighley Awards, um, you can watch it on something called Go. You can watch it on your Wii U, the Force Defunct. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on GameStop. Bot. You can watch it on the MLG. Watch it on Twitch, on you watch, Steam. You can watch it on Kotaku if you want more lies. You can watch it on Azubu. Uh, you can watch it on Nico Nico. Uh, you can watch it on Hatbox if you want shit. And you can watch it on Polygon if you want garbage. Uh, you can watch it on Xbox Live. Uh, then you can watch it on PSN. And you can watch it on Twitch. It's great because that's the label that pays us. Uh, so uh, what, the threat is saying that Zelda's a lock for uh, one of the premieres. Death Row. A death row shout out, nice. Right. Uh, you know, you're shut touch. touch. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. You ready? 
We're going to have five picks. <laughs> Whatever that comes off the top of your brain. Okay. What do you think the ten premieres are going to be? Oh, God. Ten world, like, never, these have not been, been seen, or are these repeat of E3 and, and Gamescom stuff? I think this might be world premieres. Oh, God, I have no goddamn idea. I'm not I'm not educated enough in the market, I feel like, to, I mean, anything, to, anything you want. to predict anything. Your Nintendo oh. dreams. It's all Nintendo stuff? No, anything. Oh, anything. Um, if you said, you know what? Dark Souls 3 came out pretty quickly after Bloodborne had came out. Oh, like, don't, don't, like footage of it. Mm. What if Bloodborne 2 was premiered? Alright. BB2... What if just a, just like a like a smidge? Like all they do is like show a cutscene. The children are still cursed, <laughs> and he changes his weapon and he dies. <laughs> so I, I I feel like they would they would tease one weapon though, because um, at, at least the mo- like because you can see if they're working on it and they're gonna they're just saying we're gonna develop it coming out 2017 or yeah. like late 2017 or something like that. That's probably pretty realistic. So it, it, like. You could see them doing a cutscene and having like one weapon shown, and then bam, like like have it be one of those like fifteen second yeah. teaser, like you show like a weird fucked up monster. Yeah, like teeth. I, I can see, I can see something like that. Um, Zelda Maker. No, I, I don't see. know. I don't think Zelda Maker, but I think it could happen. But I don't know. If Zelda Maker's going to be predicted. So let's see. I'm going to pick. Well, you go first with this because I I'm okay. I don't think I'm educated again. You said BB two. Yeah. So it's one. I think number two will be. Uh, pff, fuck. Uh, the a new handheld Zelda game. That's probably that makes sense. H H. It's like oh Zelda. Z- you went Zelda, wait, Zelda, after Triforce. Zelda. Zelda. Zelda's. <laughs> Zelda's. Zelda's. Zelda's amiibo adventure. Zelda. <laughs> Zelda's 3D passed. Fuck. All right. Zelda's 3D passed. Game three. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be the third world premiere. Oh my god. Um, wait. What if? What? What hasn't Link done yet? Okay. So he's been in. Se- well, let's let's think about this. Let's think about this prediction real quick. So he's done seasons. Mm. He's done different. He's done dumb time a million times. Yeah. Uh, to me, female Link. He's done dimensions. Be, right. To me, the Legend of Linkle. For 3DS, the Legend of Linkle. Well, that could be it. That could be a little. That's that's very. I think that'll that make a lot of sense. You're doing splits and shit. <laughs> um, Halo Six. No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Halo Six. No, Halo. No, I don't think so. Not yet. The battle. I think, but I think Bungie's gonna reveal that. The battle has E3 just begun again. This this. <laughs> The battle has begun for the fourth and third, fourth, or think I think time, or this, something along those lines. This time, we're together. <laughs> or are you apart? Are you together or apart? And you'll see with another you both? with another misleading commercial and advertisement. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Does this have a deep yeah. plot? Or is it just raw bullshit? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, 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 the third world premiere. The WP. Um, the dankest of world premieres. The return of Tiger Woods PGS. <laughs> he, t- he takes the crown from Roy McElroy. Uh, who knows? No, actually, I who knows? Think, I don't know. Honestly, um, who knows? I think there, I, there might be like a golf game premiered. I, th- I for think. For sports sake, I think another Mario game is going to be premiered. Mario? I, I think. I think it's inevitable we'll for just, another Mario. We'll game. put it out there. It's just a Mario. I, I can't. I can't say what platform. I think. Yeah, I. It's, I, it's it, too hard. This it could be. It could be 3ds. Um. Because I feel like they've probably done with the Wii U, mm. so I could I can imagine them maybe doing like another Mario game for 3DS or something like that. That's I that's I mean I feel like that's the most easy prediction I could possibly come up with. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of thought process put into that. But Premiere Four, and you go next. Metroid, new Metroid game for the Nintendo NX NXX. The NXXX. The NXX. <laughs> the NXX. <laughs> Got <him. laughs> Oh, that'd be awful. What if they did name it that? The in the in access. What says this? The NXX. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so fucking terrible. I wouldn't buy that just because I wouldn't want to tell. I'd tell. Oh, what is that? The new Nintendo. What's it called again? Is it the Nintendo? The NXX. The what? The the, the NXX. 
I, 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 I wouldn't have thought that prediction for a mile. I me neither. It's I thought that there. was dead and it's, gone. It's out there. Say it. It's out there. Crash goddamn Bandicoot. CB! Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god, what a return to glory that would be. Imagine. This isn't a, a traditional prediction. I mean, E3 2015 has his guys believing in the men possible again. No way. The platform holder and Activision are closer than ever, so we're sure it means no they're taking place. But could way. the coot... Mm, shouldn't say that. Get his <laughs> big comeback at PSX 2015? It seems unlikely, but... No other announcement would bring down the roof quite like this. Oh, fuck. Everyone said that Shenmue 3 was impossible, too. So we'll see. Yeah, nothing's impossible with crowdfunding. All right, so... That is true. <laughs> Imagine we drop that ball. Crash Bandicoot, but we want you to fund it. Just shows up humping the stage and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, a fourth Katamari game. Oh, God. Or is it whether it's, whether it's two or three? I think it would be the third? It would be a third? Yeah. I thought there were three already. Okay, well, it's a third. Third Katamari! And then, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say, they fucking t- 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 took my goddamn thing. They're sure off the PS simulation in some way or some shape or form. Yeah, why not? You think they're gonna show off the, uh, the, more of the VR? I feel oh, like that yeah. will probably happen. They'll probably show off another VR game. With No Man's Sky, probably. Yep. You, you think that really is gonna be a VR game? It would make sense that since going from land to ship and vice versa. And then would, would uh, be applicable. Oh. That'd be cool to look at dinosaurs and the environments. Yeah. We got so we have, we're adding uh, VR. Yeah, I think I think at least one VR thing might be might be premiered. We gotta push this. The Oculus shit is coming out in the spring. So whoever's next in line to show off their VR, better do it now. Or else who's produ- who's making the Oculus? Uh, I don't remember. Or else the Oculus shit's gonna take all the monies. Um, I think more of I don't know. More of so I feel like just with PlayStation backing it is gonna be pretty Yeah, it's gonna be pretty formidable, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Especially if they can get good games for it. Oh yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> well it's place I mean if they can yeah, if they don't if they don't pull a fucking connect and just uh, I was I was listening to the the debriefings. Yeah. And Tom was like, that thing's gonna fail. <laughs> 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 oh boy did he call it. Damn. My I mean, you know what's funny is my, my mom actually asked me the other day, she's like, What's a connect? Like kinda like that and I and I started to laugh and I was like it's, like, it's a gimmick. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, a gimmick, Mom. It was an old Christmas present. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think this one might be a little extreme. Don't quote me on this, but we're probably going to see a little of uh, Amy Henning and Jade, I can't remember the fuck her name is, the Star Wars game. Ooh. And we're going to see a little bit of that, probably, because a lot of stuff is about to, is starting to come out. Do you think they'll reveal more DLC for, for uh, Battlefront? Oh, God. Possibly. Yeah, I, could be, I feel like that could be one. I don't know to call it Star Wars Uncharted game. Yeah. Because they already premiered the Jakku thing. You think they That's could probably game. show one? Th- since that that came out damn quick. Yeah. Like, you can release it two weeks earlier. Like, you were on that shit. Like, you were very, you were developing that the, the entire time. Just, like, the same pace as Battlefront. So, I don't know. I, I, could, say, I could see them... Maybe they would debut like another another hero you could play as, or or uh, maybe more maps. Well, that's possible. The before other maps, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping more maps. It's kind of a little stale. Oh, I guess Mass Effect. Ooh, I could see that. The Andromeda Recore. Oh yeah. People really want the Zelda U, motherfuckers. I don't think we're gonna see Zelda U here. Uh, what? So, what? <laughs> sorry, this is the. I just, I just the, like sorry, started, started to welt up. That 2011 Moriarty blood. I mean, it's just like, just no, no. There's, there's no reason for them. There's no reason for them to show it right now. There's no, absolutely no reason for them to show it right now. For why? For what reason? To show it right now? Why for would they? For a console that I know you're trying to push it for this winter season. Sure, uh-huh. that's fine. Go ahead, do that. Yeah. But you're not releasing it until fucking probably not for the Wii U. So we should probably stop calling it the Zelda U. Because that thing is going to be a, one of the launch titles for the next console, I think. There's no reason. There's, they can. There's no reason for this game on the Wii U. But what if they could... They can't. What, what if, 
<laughs> Why we can't? They, they put Star if, Fox if, on there, if man. They, if they put Zelda, if they put a launch package of Zelda and Metroid together for the NX, oh baby, that would but, be like yeah, people would cream their pants. But they do like releasing a Zelda game when the, their console's dying for some fucking reason. It's, <laughs> it's Skyward Sword. <laughs> I don't understand why they like doing that. <laughs> but who knows? Oh, I might be wrong. Sword is... It would be it would be great to see them on stage. So I'm gonna put that down. It'd be great to see them come up on stage and be like, this is what we were working on. Tell see a little, a little ponytail link right around. You can shoot us <laughs> the gamepad. If, they, if the gamepad is involved in any way, shape, or form. And they're talking about patching it so you don't have to use the gamepad for a Star Fox U. Um, just... Eww, well, so people were... So the, the fears came true of the learning curve being ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Trihex, like... He's like, this is going to be sick, guys. You'll get used to it. I, like, I don't think people want to play games like that. <laughs> like holding like a Sega Game Gear and like... I think when he said yeah, sick, right. I think he meant like literally like vomit. <laughs> vomit. Vomit <laughs> Like the virtual reality sets. Okay, <laughs> so I think I'm going to... One we can probably agree on? Because mm-hmm. this has been teased. I don't like putting this shit out there. Yep. So like Red Dead... That's a series. Yeah, oh. And Rockstar, they haven't been really working on too much. They've just been, been like, look, it's Grand Theft Auto again, and again, and again! Yeah. Literally, that's what happened. <laughs> it's Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. So, so yeah, uh, that's, that's all they've been focused on. I think you might get a Red Dead Redemption. I would probably Two. scream. I would love it. I would fucking love that. Especially because they, they already have a character for the next one, because, I mean... Uh, spoilers. I'm gonna give you a lot of time. I'm gonna say spoilers for like just another five seconds. Spoilers. Spoilers. Oh yeah, because uh, it's true. Yeah, the ending is is uh, oh is yeah, his son. The spoilers also for, yeah. for why the rumors might be true because a former employee pretty much confirmed it. <laughs> Do you really? Oh my god! Because on Reddit, someone was asking. He finally came out. I don't know why. He came out nowhere. He answered some questions, and they're like, "What's Rockstar working on next?" And he, he left kind of a cryptic message saying, Really, dumbass? Really? Two. RDR two. Going home. Oh. <laughs> so either he's trolling. Because in the world, the beat's back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we might be seeing a little Red Dead Redemption. It's time to go back to the West. Yeah! Huh. It'd be a perfect way to say goodbye to 2015 with a little, you know, ooh, that would look amazing. Oh, wow. That West. game would look sick. On this? On or the PS4. Or... Uh, and PC. Anywhere. Oh, I'd probably get it for PC. I'd probably get it for PC, to be honest. Oh, man. All right, so uh, those are our predictions. The Game Awards start at, t- apparently, in Ireland, especially like that's at 2 a.m., Fuck man, it starts for us at like five o'clock. Jesus, <laughs> I mean, oh, it sucks. Wait, sorry. it starts at five o'clock? Yeah. Oh, but then, oh man, the game espresso thing. I need. I mean, that's gonna be a strict hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, five later, guys. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be drinking game out of this. I'm not gonna watch it sober. This is gonna be rough. It's gonna be <laughs> long. There's gonna be some shitty performances. Oh, oh God, fuck me. I can't believe Adam's going. I can't believe other oh, going. Oh, they're wait. going. Funhouse. Joel's not going because his girl. And He's probably gonna stream. They're probably gonna stream it on YouTube, right? I think they're going. Oh, they are going. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's a lot of sitting. I'd be fidgety for that shit. I'd be pretty fucking hammered. <laughs> I'd be pretty fucking hammered to be to sit through that whole thing. And I can't stomach alcohol. I'm just so, just so much. <laughs> so, like, fuck. Just so much <laughs> announcing. And yeah, award shows are... I, I can't stand award shows do, usually in general. Do you think they'll drop another demo on us like PT? That would be pretty cool. I can see that. Firmware updates. So a, so a demo, probably a DLC. And you know, they could show some more Street Fighter stuff. I would see this. <laughs> oh, that would be... The biggest indie games. You think they'd show more Final Fantasy, like, like Final Fantasy VII, like combat teaser or something like that? Oh, God, if they could. So everyone can find out. I was like, I'll be fine if it's what's his face, the guy who made Kingdom Hearts, 
or developed it. Or oh, that scared on it. me. I thought they found out who the new character was for the Smash Bros. DLC. Oh, dear God. I was like... <laughs> uh, something... Uh, fucking lazy. Tetsuya Nomura? Wow. Uh, if, if, it's, <laughs> if it's him, then the combat system might be like Kingdom Hearts. Which I'm like, I'm fine with. But would you be okay if it was OG Final Fantasy Seven? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think a lot of people would be okay with that. I'm a, I would die, like... To me, that's I like, like it. That style's like nerve wracking for combat. <laughs> you can't, dude. I find myself like mashing the button because I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna die. You know, it's my turn. Well, <laughs> still don't have a plan of attack. <laughs> uh, at least action RPG, you get to run around. But like this one, like uh, my turn's coming up like in two seconds. Tifa's dead. I think I have a phoenix down. Any attack me? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They talking yeah, about what are they talking bitch. about? Okay, Wolf. I kept dying to those stupid tanks on the elevator when I was going down from uh, god damn it. Uh, I can't remember the stupid. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> Later, <laughs> 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 